All right, good day, Fight Fans. We're here with a recording artist, AJ Rafael. He's performing tomorrow at uh, Ana Huluto and Francesca Alcantar uh, fight. How are you doing, AJ? Good, how are you guys, man? Good, good, good. Thanks for uh, taking time out to talk to us and um, talk about this event right here. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, this is the, we're at the weigh-in right now. This is my first time here at one of these things. You know, actually, first time at a boxing fight tomorrow. So um, it's going to be really interesting, and I hope the energy is, is is killing. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I know it's a different kind of energy. So Definitely, and uh, you're a big uh, star in your own, and you have a, strong, a big following. So uh, talk, talk to us about your expectations for uh, this event tomorrow. Um, well, you know, it is the Bay Area, and I know I have a... Um, a decent, a good amount of fans out here in the Bay Area. Hopefully they come represent. If not, I hope to make new fans, you know, and and, and with the, the Filipinos that are mostly representing, you know, um, I just hope to, to represent SoCal too, you know what I'm saying? And and, and bring bring the energy here, man, through the, on the stage. Absolutely. What, are, what songs are you going to be performing tomorrow and how many songs uh, do you plan to do in your set? I think there's about 20 minutes and uh, I'm actually going to get together with my band tonight to uh, to discuss the, the, the plan, but uh, we're probably going to do a cover, but mostly original songs. So I, I hope I just hope everybody enjoys it, enjoys it all, you know. Absolutely. And uh, are you a fight fan yourself? I mean, I I, I was into boxing a, a lot when I was like 10 with my dad, you know, like eight, nine, 10, but didn't get back into it until you know Pacquiao came back up. You know, uh, I'm a big NBA kind of dude, um, but uh, but I do play a uh, some some. Uh, some on PS3, you know what I'm saying? So some fight nights, right? Some fight night, yeah, it's round three, you know what I'm saying? That's all about uh, Ana Huleto. What do you What do you know about her? What do you know about her? Well, I've just been watching her fights online, you know. Um, and she wrote on my Facebook the other day. It was I was really excited about, you know. I got I got a boxer to uh, write on my Facebook, but it it's just mad cool to see, you know, um, other Filipino talent and and in a in a city like Daily City, you know what I'm saying? Representing. Um, I just know she's gonna bring it tomorrow, you know, and and I. I just kind of seen uh, the other contender, uh, Francesca, tonight. So it looks ripped, like, huh? yeah, she's ripped as hell. So it's, it's going to be an amazing fight, I think, tomorrow. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. And uh, talk about uh, another Bay Area guy that uh, made waves last week, Nonito Donaire Jr. Did you see yeah, that yeah, fight? Yeah, I, did, I didn't get to see the fight, man. But I heard about all on Twitter, man. I heard about the knockout and everything. And, and uh, it's just mad dope that our people are, are representing, you know. And it, I think it's time. This is our decade, you know, to really show everyone what we have. And, and it not be weird that a Filipino's on the big screen, you know what I'm saying, Do what they, doing what they want to do, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, and uh, you touched on the topic about being a Filipino here in the States, trying to make it big, you know what I mean? Can you talk to us about your um, your, your journey as an artist? You know, like, uh, as, as being, is being Filipino, like, make it harder for you to, to break through the mainstream, or, or talk to us about that? Uh, definitely mainstream, mainstream has, has made it difficult for, uh, Filipino Americans, but mostly Asian Americans. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, even harder for Filipino Americans to to break through. But we do have have the ones who do. You know, like Sharice and Ar uh, you know Arnold Panetta and uh, you know Dante Bosco. We got Michael Copan. We got Quest Crew, Jabberwockies, all those guys. Um, but it is a little more difficult. Um, but it's cool to have that base. You know what I'm saying? The Filipino fan base, and then for us to journey um, and expand our fan base to. Uh, every human being you know what i'm saying and, and i'm hoping that you know in 10 years people can see asians on on tv and be like yo this is not weird no more you know what i'm saying this is it's a normal thing it's like seeing a white or a black person or a latino person on the screen you know what i'm saying so i'm hoping to help move that that movement you know what i'm saying absolutely man you're a talented kid and i've heard a lot about you so see yourself on youtube yeah. And uh, good luck with your career. And um, can you invite uh, all your fans, everybody out there, to check you out tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. I hope y'all come out um, to the pavilion. It's gonna be dope. Um, we're, we're just gonna bring it. My, I got my full band here from, you know, representing Boston, New York, and L.A. Um, and, and they're all. We're, we're just gonna just gonna bring the energy to the stage, man. I, and this is, you know, my first time performing at a fight, so we'll see we'll see what happens. And he did say it was a hybrid earlier, so y'all will enjoy it. You know, all ages, the whole family. Awesome, bro. Thank you so much. Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, AJ Rafael, and I watch D-Source TV.